命が命久しぶりだな「SASUKE」That day, my friends and I walked past the janitor, who's been sweeping our street for as long as I can remember. The other kids always joked and laughed at him. This time was no different. Someone threw a receipt from the supermarket on the ground right in front of him, and then everyone else did the same thing candy wrappers, a bag of chips, a can of soda, and then it was my turn. The janitor looked me straight in the eye, as if expecting something from me. I looked first at him, then at my friends. Everyone was waiting for me, and someone laughed and asked what I was thinking. Indeed, what was I thinking? I took a one dollar bill out of my pocket, crumpled it up, and threw it on the ground with the words, Get yourself some tea. And then, laughing, I walked on with my friends. The janitor loudly and sternly told me to go back and clean everything up immediately. Are you crazy? I answered, laughing, and left with my friends. We talked about that person for a while, mocking him. In reality, though, I was very scared and ashamed of my behavior, and for my friends' behavior, too. But I had to be on the same page with everyone else. We talked about the fact that the janitor is responsible for sweeping the streets, that he receives a salary from taxes paid by our parents, and so he owes us. We talked about how he's probably a pretty stupid guy since he couldn't at least get some kind of education and a decent job. Does that make sense? Yes, I think so. But at that moment, none of the other kids even guessed that all my branded clothes, phone, watch, and that crumpled up dollar on the ground, all of this was only thanks to that very same janitor. And that, in fact, I'm not the daughter of some rich businessman like I tell everyone. In fact, I'm the daughter of that janitor. And the truth, sooner or later, had to come out. My name is Monica, and I'm the daughter of a janitor. Please don't tell anyone about this. Otherwise, my reputation will be ruined and my friends will turn their backs on me. This is my most important secret. And more than anything else, I'm afraid that one of the guys will find out about it. So far, everyone thinks that my dad is a businessman. But how long can I keep up this lie? When I was little, my dad and I had a very good relationship. He often took me out, spoiled me, and bought me treats in secret from my mother. I knew that my dad was my main source of support and protection, and I trusted him like no one else. But I grew up, and at some point, everything started to change. The first changes in our family happened when my mother suddenly left us to live in Italy. It was a shock for my dad and me. But we decided that we could do whatever we had to do. After all, life went on, even though our family became one third smaller. Before, Dad worked on an assembly line and received a normal salary from the factory. But over time, his profession became irrelevant. People in factories were replaced with machines, and our little family was in crisis. Dad was looking for a new job for a long time and even got a job as a cashier in a supermarket. But soon, there they decided to automate the sales system and fire cashiers, preferring computers. At that time, it was time for me to go to school. To make sure I wouldn't stand out in class for being worse off, Dad took on what work was available. He became a janitor. Do you know that a janitor's salary is very low? So, Dad swept our area during the day, and at night, he cleaned our school building and nearby offices. In total, he earned enough for us to live like normal people, not counting every cent. So, I went to school in decent clothes and with good school supplies. What can I say? Dad even bought me a phone so that I was like everyone else. He was willing to do anything to make sure I was happy. Less than a week later, a boy in the class asked if my dad was sweeping the streets and if I happened to be the daughter of a janitor. Everyone started laughing at me, and someone even threw a crumpled piece of paper on the floor, asking me to clean it up like my dad does. At that moment, I realized that being a janitor was something to be ashamed of, and that it was time for me to start hiding my origins. Then I told everyone that that was nonsense, and my dad was actually a very rich man. The janitor had nothing to do with me. From that day on, in public, I was embarrassed by my father. 
I avoided him and did everything I could to hide our relationship. I was good at it, too. Everyone believed my story about my very rich dad who lives in another city and sends me large sums of money every month. But the whole time, my real dad, the janitor, worked without days off or breaks to provide me with the life that I invented for myself. Of course, he saw and understood everything. He played along with me. He never gave me away in public. And I can imagine how painful and insulting it was for him to understand that his own daughter was ashamed of him. But his feelings didn't bother me at all. And all I thought about was my wish list of things I wanted my dad to get me. Once I even begged him for expensive sneakers that cost half of his month's salary. I wonder what I was thinking then. But you know, even though my dad loves me very much, he's not a magician. He can't do the impossible. In 2019, with the release of the iPhone 11, I was stumped. Do you understand that I should have been among the first to have this phone? And long before the iPhone started going on sale, I began to tell my dad that I really needed it. And dad nodded his head and tried to earn the required amount by the appointed date. However, something went wrong and we had unexpected expenses, because of which I didn't even have half of the amount to buy an iPhone. I was on the verge of failure. My classmates laughed at me and asked if my dad's oil pipeline had broken. I had never been in such a shameful situation before, and I tried in every possible way to get out of it. And since it was pointless to demand from my dad what he simply couldn't do, I decided to go the other way. I just bought myself a Chinese counterfeit iPhone 11. And the very next day, my reputation with friends and classmates was fixed. No one caught on. And at first glance, my phone was exactly like the original, so nothing boded trouble. But a few days later, during recess, my phone started making strange sounds. When I picked it up to see what was wrong with it, it slipped out of my hand and fell to the ground. Part of the case broke off, and the plastic that was painted to look like metal peeked through. Of course everyone saw it, and everyone burst out laughing. My classmates said that all my things are probably the same level of quality as my iPhone and asked what currency my dad had a million of. That time, I managed to avoid their attacks by blaming everything on the seller, accusing him of dishonesty, and said that I would punish this scoundrel through the courts. But now I was out of options. I had to buy myself a real iPhone. Luckily, dad got an award at work and was able to give me the necessary amount. But because of that, we had to live on bread and water for a whole month. And you know, sometimes I was really angry with my father because he was a janitor, because I had to be ashamed of him, and because he didn't have much money. But at such moments, he said that despite everything, he still loves me, and that I am the most valuable thing he has. Then I felt ashamed of my anger, and thanked my dad that he didn't betray himself in front of my friends and classmates. But be that as it may, my game was coming to its logical conclusion. Sooner or later, everything had to end, and deep down I could feel it coming. Well, I couldn't pretend forever. The older I got, the harder it was to hide. On that day, when the guys and I passed by my dad and threw garbage at his feet, I realized that I was done. After I walked about 300 feet, I turned back to see my dad collecting what we had just pointedly thrown on the ground. At that moment, one of the guys... Tim said that if that janitor was his father, he would rather not be born at all. And Ella said that it was better for people like this janitor not to have kids at all. I felt painfully sad and offended that these people were my friends. And I also felt incredibly sorry for my dad. I could no longer control myself, so I ran to my dad as fast as I could and started helping him pick up the trash, saying, I'm sorry, Dad. Let's clean it up together. Some of the guys laughed. Some were perplexed, looking at me. And when they came closer, I shouted, This is my dad. Do you hear me? This is my dad. And I won't hide it anymore. I love him and am proud of him. Some of the guys didn't believe me. Someone immediately began to insult me. But I didn't care because I was tired of all this. After that incident, I practically had no friends left. But I found the most important thing. Peace. I no longer had to worry that someone would find out my secret. I didn't need to worry that I didn't have time to buy the latest iPhone. Or I couldn't buy sneakers for the price of an airplane wing. I gave up the race and became free. You know? 
My relationship with my dad has become much better, just like it was when I was little. He again became my hero and a man who was ready to do anything for his child. If your dad was a janitor, would you be ashamed of him? Share your answers in the comments below. Press the like button if you liked my story. And be sure to subscribe to our channel because there are many more interesting stories to look forward to. Stories to look forward.